Okay. Let's move on right to Amazing yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, a staple in uh, any Brand new com- any comic book collectors. Brand new day. Mm-hmm. If for those of you that don't know, Brand New Day is the pretty much uh, revamp of Amazing Spider-Man, his entire universe, basically. There was a uh, the last event was called One More Day, which dissolved Peter and Mary Jane's long existing marriage because of what happened. Mephisto pretty much wiped. Pretty much made sure it made it so it never happened, and so now Peter's single. He's a photographer again at the Daily Bugle. Except it's not the Daily Bugle. Yeah, now it's, it's the, the DB. It's the DB. It is the DB because, run by Dexter Bennett. Yeah, because it was um, J. Jonah Jameson's wife. J. Jonah Jameson had a heart attack. And caused a Peter co- Parker induced. Peter, yeah, Peter heart Parker induced heart attack. Was it, wait, yeah. was it a heart attack or was this thing stroke? No, like they're changing it. It, it, into, it was a heart attack. It was a heart attack. Okay. Yeah. And his wife, thinking he was going to die, sold all the stocks. This guy, Dexter Bennett, who wanted to buy out mm-hmm. the Daily Bugle. So, um, yeah, basically, Brand New Day is basically a revamp, a reworking of everything in the Spider-Man mythos. Okay. Uh, you want uh, comments about... L- look at his head. Yeah, the current... And yeah, anyway, the, um, one other thing they've been doing is every... Th- it's, the book is shipping three times a month, and... Every three issues, every story arc is three issues, and there's a different writer and artist team on it. The current and one, a new villain in each. Yeah, and arc. a new villain also. Um, and then the current the current arc is being written by Bob Gale from uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future fame, and uh, drawn by Phil Jimenez, who did Infinite Crisis a couple years ago. Okay, so, so uh, what do you think of the new new villains? Uh, don't want. Yeah, Honestly, uh, I know I remember Menace, and I know Freak now. I can't remember the other villain. I don't know why, because want to know why? Oh, it was Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative. No interest in him. I mean, they're cool. I mean, okay, he's a cool thing, but it's not going to stick. As you cool. said before, these guys are not going to stick. It's they're... always going to be Rhino, Vulture, yeah. Green Goblin. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, like, that's the thing with that's the thing with uh, comic books and superheroes. It's so hard to introduce mm-hmm. new characters that actually stick. And, you know, I give, them, I give them credit for trying. And, you know, they're, it seems like they're putting thought into these new characters, mm-hmm. but it's just... It's kind of hard for me to be interested in them. I guess, know? yeah. I know, I know what you're saying, but uh, I I love Back to the Future, and I can't give it to Bob Gale. He can't write Spider-Man. Uh, the dialogue is just so unrealistic. Yeah. And, and, and Come on. So if you pick this up and you read it, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that it's saying. This is taking place in the 21st century. This yeah. isn't taking place like Wolverine back to, uh, like 100 years ago or 50 years ago. It's taking yeah. place now. Yeah. So some of the lines in there. And, and the new villain, Freak, is basically, he's a this big monstrous character who has ties to Kirk Connors and the lizard. And he's just so stereotypical. It's like, it's Spider-Man's fault. I blame Spider-Man. Spider-Man's going to pay. Yeah. And that's Spider-Man's just... Spider-Man's not the one that killed him I know, it's, when he came back to life. It's, it's ridiculous. Why was he stealing money in the first place? Well, stealing a, is bad. He was a, wasn't he a drug addict? No, he was stealing the money from, from uh, the, the, the charity. Soup, the soup kitchen. From the soup kitchen. Yeah, because wasn't he a drug addict? Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess he wanted to buy drugs, but obviously Spider-Man's going to chase know. him. Stealing's bad. Don't steal. Don't steal a comic book. Yeah, no. don't, don't, yeah, don't be a thief. <laughs> the, but the reason, I mean, I give him credit for trying to introduce new characters, but it, I don't think they're going to stick. Yeah, neither do I. So, so, brand new day, I hope it ends and they do return of the Green Goblin. At least it'll be something interesting. Yeah, but at the same time, they've done Green Goblin so many times. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so what's your review on it? Um, I guess I'll give it a, a B. B? I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, loyal Spider- so? I'm a loyal Spider-Man fan. You think so? Yeah, I'm a loyal Spider-Man B? fan, but, you know. C. <laughs> okay. No interest, really. I mean, still a Spider-Man, so you gotta give it something. I'm gonna yeah. be lenient. It's gonna mm-hmm. be nice. Moving on, though. Uh, Superman. Thank God. New arc. New artist. Guidos? Guidos. Okay. This is how Kurt Music should be writing Superman. Yes. I had no... If anybody read the Insect Queen arc and wanted to kill yourself while you were reading it or tear it up and burn your comic, I felt the same way. It wasn't... It wasn't readable. The book it's, wasn't readable. It, I honestly, I think it, it took felt, me... It felt like filler issues, and it, re- it, it really was. was. I mean... But for the past year, he has not been writing Superman the way he started off. Yeah. He really hasn't done anything for me up until this issue. It was really great. Uh, bringing mon back into... Uh, yeah, it's great. Mon- yeah, mon who, um, if, if you don't know, Clark met as a teenager... And Clark thought he was a, a fellow Kryptonian also. But he wasn't. Yeah, he was he's from Daxum. The planet Daxum, yes. And so they make, he has a weakness. He like Superman, but it's not kryptonite. Yeah, it's, it's lead. It's lead. And, and isn't, that, isn't lead abundant in Earth? It is. It's yeah, and he, he arrived on Earth, and him and Clark became fast friends, and just bonding over the fact that, you know, they're both aliens. And 
so on and so forth. And Clark wanted to find out if he was really a Kryptonian mm-hmm. and took out the lead lace box with kryptonite in it, kind showed him the kryptonite, it. and he had the adverse reactions to it. So like, wow, you really are a Kryptonian. Like, no, it's the lead. That's and kind so, of ironic, if you ask me. But the di- it is. But the difference between um, Daxamites and Kryptonians mm-hmm. is if a Kryptonian is exposed to kryptonite, you take kryptonite away, he's fine. But if a Daxamite is exposed to lead just a single time, he's poisoned for, he's poisoned for the rest of life, and he's poisoned permanently, and he's going to die. So, so I the, don't know. The only, way to save, the only way to save Mon-El was to true. transport him into the Phantom Zone. So and that's it, where he's been for how long now? Ever since Clark was a kid. Oh, and, ev- and ever since what then... What is that, 200 years? No, <laughs> 60 years? No, no. Of course, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like 60 years or something? No, he's not even... He's not in his 60s. Oh. Like 15 years, maybe. Oh, well, 15 years, that's what you say, but Superman's been around for... Oh, six, it depends uh, on... Six, okay. Okay, everyone has a different perception yeah. of the timeline. Yeah, and ever okay. since then, um, he's been trying to find a cure for the lead poisoning, and that's one thing that, that, gets, that gets focused on in this issue. We found out a lot about um, mon last days on Daxon before he left and mm-hmm. came to Earth. And there's a... Special, I guess, a guest appearance by some government officials. Yeah, at the yeah, at the end, last they have a big problem with Superman. They have a big problem with that. They were, what are they? Yeah. With he ties. dies, and they, they, ha- they threaten to kill him if yeah. he does not hand over and a certain Daxamite. Yeah, and these people have them. these. Yeah, these government officials have ties to to um, Monel. So. so. Pick up this issue. We really think it's not a standalone issue. It is the beginning of a it's new part arc. one of yeah. Yeah, but uh, for those who were expecting Chloe to come back, uh, it actually was supposed to be in this issue, and uh, Dan Didio decided to scrap that idea too. Who knows why? I, I think it might have to do with the fact that they're, they're probably going to kill Chloe. On you think Smallville so? before? Yeah, before the show ends. Even though she's probably. one of my favorite characters, I yeah. like her better than Lana. I don't know. Maybe they'll surprise us and just put her in the next issue. Maybe. Who Maybe. Knows? Hopefully. Okay. So. Uh, Superman. Uh, I'll give it a B. B? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a B+. Plus. I, I really am impressed that just in one month, it changed so much. Just It was really a drastic change compared to like an F, which I gave it. I should have given it like triple Z. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, it, it was that bad. But uh, I'm really impressed with the transition just with the new artist. I think new actually that really helped. Wolverine. Yeah. New arc, Get Mystique. Mm-hmm. Who is excited for that? Come on. Uh, I'll tell you, I think Wolverine is a character that runs the high risk of being spread too thin. He's in so many books, and um, I wasn't really all that excited about this book. The oh. only thing that really that really got me about it was that uh, it's drawn by Ron Garney, who just you, a couple months ago was doing Amazing Spider-Man during this mm-hmm. whole Civil War debacle. And he's an amazing artist, and he should be drawing Wolverine permanently, I think. Yeah. He yeah he draws some really really iconic, fierce, and just really really mm-hmm. amazing artwork for Wolverine. Okay. Um, well, let's go the rundown. Uh, Cyclops asks Wolverine to find Mystique for betraying the X Men in mm-hmm. Messiah Complex. Yes. Uh, wow, she had me fooled. Didn't you think at first she was maybe good just for like a couple issues? You thought maybe she's always flip flopping. It's. She's. I don't know. Well, they fooled me. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I thought maybe she was gonna be good. Very unexpected. So instead of dispatching X Force now to mm-hmm. find Mystique, they dispatched Wolverine. Or Cyclops did. Cyclops. Uh, okay, but now I have one problem with this. Just one. If anybody's reading X Force, this takes place the same exact time that X Force is taking place, right after Messiah Complex. So how is Wolverine trying to find Mystique? And also an X Force, and they actually comment that they actually comment that on that in this book, Mystique Mystique makes a, a crack about shouldn't he be trying to save the world with some of the other dozen groups he's affiliated with? Yeah, and I mean, I don't but know. Uh, that's com- otherwise that's comics. Though. That's comics, but otherwise the dialogue it takes place uh, like the old westerns, the old western type that are wow million dollar reward. Yeah, hey, let's call Bob Gale have him invent yeah, us a time machine. Yeah, it takes place in, in in the twenties, in the present, and in the fifties also. Uh, yeah, but the dialogue compared to Amazing Spider-Man, it is it just works so well. I really like believe that I'm now in an, a Western comic. Just the dialogue works so well and, uh, for me. And one of the, and like I said, Wolverine runs a really high risk of wearing thin because he's such a popular and overused character. But at the same time, because of his background and his slow aging, you really can, you can basically place him in any time period over the last, uh, I think, what, two hundred years. So it Something really, like it that, really yeah. adds for a that. really cool mix up every once in a while. 
So a lot of potential for good stories. Yeah, and uh, again, this book is definitely not for kids. Uh, nope. So anyone that keeps saying comics are for kids, they're not. Wolverine cuts this guy's fingers off. Mm -hmm. Three of his fingers, just yeah. blood everywhere. Mm -hmm. Blood. It's crazy. That's I mean, I, it's he's nice, the best at what he does. He is the best at what he does. So. He, he's a killer. I give the book a B plus. Same here. Better get better. I want to give it an A next month. That's what I want. Okay. All right, our last yeah, book. I, I want to do this one. Oh, you want to do it? Do okay. This. 